On today's morning meditation, I'm going to introduce one of the coolest characters in the whole Bible, Elijah, and tell you what his life was all about. This is Morning Meditations with me, Pastor Ryan Hayden of Bible Baptist Church. To hear more or find out more about our church, visit BibleBaptistMatoon.org. 1 Kings is all about the history of the kings of Israel. It picks off where 1 and 2 Samuel, which were also about Israel's kings, leaves off. But in chapter 17, the story quickly changes focus from the kings to a very special prophet named Elijah. 1 Kings 17.1 says this, And Elijah the Tishbite, who was of the inhabitants of Gilead, said unto Ahab, As the Lord God of Israel liveth, before whom I stand, there shall not be dew nor rain these years, but according to my word. Now that is the only introduction we get to Elijah. We don't know how old he was. We don't know anything about his backstory. We, we don't know hardly anything about where he was from. Tishbite probably means traveler, and Gilead is a huge wilderness area. We know his name means, my God is Jehovah. That's it. And this guy just comes in out of nowhere and confronts King Ahab and tells him that it's going to stop raining in Israel. But there's something else going on in this story that's very important. Ahab was the first king of Israel that openly accepted and promoted Baal worship. Now, other kings had secretly worshipped this false god, but Ahab was the first king to make it kind of the state religion. The Canaanites believed that Baal was the god of fertility and storms. They worshipped Baal with all kinds of wicked, immoral acts, and they even did child sacrifices to Baal in hopes that Baal would repay them with prosperity and pleasure. Ahab's wife, Queen Jezebel, was leading the nation in Baal worship and had set up and was funding 400 priests of Baal. So in comes Elijah from out of nowhere and announces to the king who worships the god of the storm, hey, listen, the real god said it's going to stop raining. And at Elijah's word, God brought a three-year drought to Israel. Elijah's life was about showing one thing to God's people, that God was real and Baal was not. That God really satisfied and God really provided And Baal only brought disappointment. Now, people around us today don't worship named gods like Baal. But we are still surrounded by idol worshipers. They still worship pleasure and prosperity. We still see child sacrifice too. We see it in abortion clinics and in thousands of homes where career and the money it brings comes before family. We still need Elijah's inconvenient men and women who will boldly point out that the gods of this world aren't real, that they don't satisfy, that they make false promises. But there is one real God, and he absolutely is real, and he means what he says. Could God use you to be an Elijah?